Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be talking about how to split test Shopify product pages and what's the best software to do and the best way to go about it. I pulled the training from my Facebook ads course on exactly how to do this. And I'm gonna be giving you that training completely for free in today's video. So that being said, here's exactly the step-by-step -step process to split test Shopify product pages inside of Facebook and all those good things right there. Let's dive into the video. Okay, this is the official tutorial for convert.com. I get a lot of questions asked about this. Nick was the best way to test product pages, split test pages and different experiences for consumers to see like, Hey, what works best? What is the best route for my product to be sold? And there's a couple different routes. Well, number one, you can just create a new product page, create a new ad inside the Facebook ads manager and just see if it gets spin. That's one way. Another way is to create a whole new campaign and force budget to it. Now, downside of both of these ways is that Facebook has no reason to spend on an ad that's fresh with no engagement when that same ad's already being ran in the account. So, you know, it just, it makes no reason why Facebook. So Facebook really won't spend much on the product page. The second route is that you can create a new campaign to force spend to it. Now, the problem with this is that it creates auction overlap. They can bid against each other. Facebook's going to prioritize still the one that already has spin and like crushing it. And two, maybe you'll do a lower spin to it, but it doesn't allow you to see what works at scale. So ultimately, Anything that deals with the Facebook ad account, we need to stay away with. We do not want to touch the Facebook ad account at all. So how can we split test product pages from there? Well, one way is on the Shopify site is to simply just go ahead and edit the product page, see how the next few days go, and then you know see if that works better or not. That's one way. And that's the way I do recommend up until a point where it's like, hey, let's see if we can be a little bit better. And also too, maybe you want to try like product page versus a collection page and like where to drive traffic to. That's also like something very difficult there because then you have to actually start edit domains. So there's a lot of different things that to take into account. And you know, not to bore you guys, but uh, this is where convert.com helps with all of this. And let me just show you guys what convert.com is. It's probably one of the most powerful tools for split testing. And yeah, it's awesome. So it works right into Shopify. And I'm gonna show you guys everything you need to do to set that up. But convert.com is super powerful. It's not the most affordable option. So I'll tell you guys now as like literally starting plans at $500 a month. But think about it like this, let's say you're doing $100,000 per month and you double your conversion rate. Also now you're doing 200K a month off or 99 a month. There's a couple other, you know, see, I guess you could say like different price points I can mention. But yeah, this is super, super powerful. And I'm gonna show you guys a couple examples here on this tutorial. So first things first, a couple things you guys need to do is number one, you need to go set up a convert.com account. Second thing you need to do is you need to follow this first tutorial. Like basically, I'm just gonna leverage convert.com to show you exactly how to set up convert into Shopify, how they integrate together. It's very easy. Just go to this page right here, which is in below. First thing you're going to do is create your own API keys and then create a revenue goal. This is all stuff that's can be done inside of convert fairly easy. Let's just go inside of here and just to show you what that looks like. So that way, just make sure that you guys understand it. So right after you create your account, you're going to want to go to account settings and then API keys. And then here you're going to pull these, you're gonna just create a new API key. And after that, what you wanna do is go back and then you're gonna to go to projects, just create a new project, call it whatever, and just put your main domain in here that you're gonna drive traffic to. And then after you create that project, you're gonna to go to goals, new goal, and you're gonna call this goal, let's see, you wanna make sure it's a revenue goal and you want to make sure you call it Shopify app revenue, make sure manual tracking is on right here and then hit save goal, okay? I already did this, so I'm not gonna do it, but you're gonna do that. And then you are going to click on this particular link right here, which takes you right here. And don't worry, you're not gonna use anything yet. You can watch this three minute video and this three minute video is gonna show you what you're gonna be using this, how to set it up with Shopify. So just, it's fairly easy. So after all of this is done, now you can start using the convert tool. And here, we are inside of it. Now I'm just gonna create a whole new experience. I am just going to, let's just go ahead and, actually I just wanna delete this. This is paused, but archive experience, okay? Each experience is basically exactly what it is. What type of unique experience we wanna create for our consumers? 
So let's say for example, here's our website. We have this collection page right here, and then we have this home page. And maybe right now we're driving traffic to our home page. I'm just gonna put this home page versus collection page. Maybe we have an ad right now inside of our account, and the home page is just crushing it for us right now. Or like that ad right there is gonna charge you a spin. And we're like, ah, I wish we would have drove it to the collection page. Well, here you go. Now we can do that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to homepage, Curse Collection, and just put our main thing in. And I want to do a split URL. This is probably gonna be the most common because I can just create two product pages and it can both be very different and I can drive traffic to one domain and it's gonna automatically split it for me. I don't really know on these others. I haven't really tested these others. So I'm just letting you know now, but there is even things where it's like sections of your page at once. We can like do like a little bit of CSS and like custom coding and stuff. There's a couple of cool things you can do here, but I'm just gonna do split URL for this tutorial as that's the one I know and the one I'm actually qualified to be teaching you guys on from here. So this is our origin URL. So like, this is like the ad URL that's just crushing it for us right now. And we're like, I wish we could change it without losing engagement and all that good stuff. So here we go. So I'm just gonna do variation one, boom. I'm gonna take it to the collection. Now I could do another variation if I want, but I don't feel like it. I'm just gonna do this one right here. So it's just a true, just A, B. We're not gonna do A, B, C. And we're not gonna do A, B, C, D, okay? Now from here, it pretty much just sets this up real quick. It's kind of our flow. So we have our homepage, audiences. I'm not really sure what this is. I guess you can kind of just basically change up, like build audiences kind of based off the people that come to our page and stuff like that. I'm just leaving this as is, but I'm sure you can maybe do like a split between like, I don't know, maybe like, yeah, visitors coming from certain places. So maybe we only want people that are coming from, let's say like Facebook. Let's see if there's Facebook in here. Do, do, do. Boom. And that way I can actually put this in here. So, but I'm not gonna worry about that right now. Just keeping this simple. I'm just gonna do all visitors and I wanna do a 50-50 test. That's it. Now I could do say, let's see if I can edit this. Maybe if I wanna do 100%. To where all traffic goes to the original. Or maybe I wanna do like a 60 40, something like that. But I'm just gonna do a 50 50. There we go. All right, we have our original and our variation. Our goals, you know, decrease balance rate, increase engagement. To be honest, I just want to shop by app revenue. That's all I wanna know. I just wanna know are we making money? That's my objective. All right, now let's just, before I go ahead and hit this, Plus, uh, I just want to show you guys right now when we go into here, both we go, like when we go to the home page, we go to the home page. All right, this is the collection page. Cool. Now, when I hit active on this, all of a sudden, now our traffic is being split 50 50 of all the traffic going to this domain is going to start going to collections. So let's do a new incognito window. Boom. Let's see if I can open up a new one. And it's 50 50 traffic based off IP address. And I swear, before I did this tutorial, I did this and it actually worked correctly. So it is working, technically, yes, but I'm just, I'm segmented in that other bucket, like people going into the original homepage. So yeah, so that's pretty much all you do. If I can reset it, reset experience. I want to reset this experience because I do want to show you guys that I'm not full of shit, like this actually works, but yeah. So that's pretty much all you do. And then from here, it will start going ahead and what I would say, it'll start reporting full conversions and like your sales and stuff, all tested users, like told my people that's came into here. But yeah, so that's pretty much we do this. And then once you're done, obviously like you don't want to just turn it off because what's going to happen is like, then like there would just be like reset it. But if you figure out that, hey, the variation works 10 times better driving traffic to the collection page, then what's going to happen is we just basically can go in here and go summary and we can actually go edit this to like maybe like 100%. In fact, actually, let's do that. Let's do 100% of traffic. We'll go to the variation. All right, cool. That's active. So if I go to here, it should actually do it. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, so I figured out what it was. So it's just the cookies inside of Chrome. So like, for example, if I'm still using like the regular browser, if I go to like the home page right here, it goes there. But if I go to new incognito window and I go here, it takes me to the collection page as it should be shown, like the tutorial shows. And I even did force it all to the variation just to make sure, but I can easily come back here and like, hey, maybe I want to change this back to like 50, for example. I can do that, let's see. Oop. All right, 
You get the point. Yeah, that's what it's gonna be doing. I think I just messed this all up and stuff, but <laughs> that's just to show you guys. Also another key thing right here y'all can do is you go to stat settings. You can also change a couple things like like how long you want this to run, etc. But yeah, so just want to show this to you guys how you can use convert.com to test different product pages and stuff like that. I will have more kind of like tutorials around this for you guys. This will just give you the general landscape of everything. And then from there, I'll do some more videos soon for you guys. Right now, I just had to create a Shopify store and yeah. So you'll see more about this coming soon, but hopefully this helps you guys out. So it kind of explain why we use this and why I recommend this versus anything else. And hopefully this helps you guys out.